Buchaka English for Teens. Welcome to Buchaka English for Teens. I'm Erica Foles from Eon. And I'm Alex Gerrard, also from Eon. Every week we're going to be sharing English phrases used by native speaking teens. We hope you enjoy them. So, Erica, what's this week's wish you about? Well, Meg talks to a boy at the homecoming dance. Oh, I wonder what they talk about. Well, let's listen and find out. Wow, look at him go! Yeah, that's David. Did you come here with him? Kind of, but we're just friends. Do you want to dance? Sorry, I have two left feet. So, we finally found something that David is good at. Yeah, good for him. Speaking of David, did you catch what the boy said about him? He said, look at him go, right? Yep, we use the phrase, look at someone go, to express admiration for how well someone is doing something. For example, skiing really fast on a steep slope. Or giving a really interesting presentation in a foreign language. Can you do anything impressive like that, Alex? Well, I can count to 18 in Roman numerals in under 10 seconds. Really? Yep. I I I I I I V V V I V I I V I I I X X X I X I I X I I X I V X V X V I X V I I X V I I I. Our motion point for today is kind of. As we're sure many of you know, we use this phrase to say that someone is close but not quite correct. The normal intonation is up down, kind of. Repeat after us. Kind of. Hmm. Kind of. To stress that someone is close but maybe just a bit further away from being correct, we change the intonation like this. Kind of. The wilder the intonation and the more stress you place on kind, the further away from being correct it feels. Are you ready? Kind of. Kind of. Kind of. Mm, good. By the way, Alex, are you looking forward to your trip next week? Kind of. Why kind of? Aren't you going to Rome? Kind of. What do you mean? It's Rome, New York, not Rome, Italy. Oh, but at least you'll be close to New York City, right? Kind of. It's like four hours away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. <laughs>